So you may have noticed that in some of our videos, we're cutting without coolant and only using through spindle air blow. But does that mean that cutting dry is our preferred method? Most of the time the answer is no. You know, cutting dry with a carbide tool isn't even possible with materials like titanium and super alloys. And there's also some materials that you shouldn't run with coolant like tooling foam or wood. Coolant plays several very important roles in the milling process. Obviously it cools your tool and workpiece, but it also lubricates your cutting tool, flushes chips away from the cutter, and it protects the part and the machine from corrosion. You know, if you're running without coolant on a vertical mill, the main thing you're going to notice is a sharp drop in tool life. The main contributing factor here is the recutting of chips. Now, coolant can also decrease your tool life in steels, cast iron, and some types of stainless. As the teeth of the cutter engage into your workpiece material, the temperature in cut can be higher than 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as the tooth leaves the cut, it's flooded with coolant and instantly cooled. Then a split second, this whole process is repeated. Now when a super hot cutter is instantly cooled like this, it introduces thermal shock and this leads to premature wear. However, in most cases, the benefit of chip flushing outweighs the negative effects of thermal shock. That said, if you're milling on a horizontal and you're using air blow, you might find that dry machining will actually improve your tool life. Modern carbide tools and coatings can usually handle some pretty high temperatures with no problem. Another case where you're not gonna be using coolant is with ceramic end mills. So ceramic is a chemically inert material, so you don't need coolant because the end mill isn't absorbing any of the heat from the cut. Here at Titans of CNC, we use Blazer Synergy 735. It really is the best coolant out there. It's clear so you can actually see what's happening while you're machining. It doesn't smell bad, and Titan really likes the taste of it. Just kidding, don't drink the coolant, people. Coolant maintenance practices and daily concentration checks are a critical component of working with liquid coolants. On our online academy, you can actually learn everything you could ever want to know about coolant and coolant maintenance. Just visit academy.titansacnc.com, go to Titan Fundamentals, and look for the series named Coolant 101. We also cover tons of other topics in our academy as well, and it's all free. So to sum it up, whether or not you're going to use coolant will really depend on your material, your machine, and your machine style. Hope you guys learned something today. Talk to you again soon.